In recent research published in the Astrophysical Journal, we were able to take a closer look at the first stars to have the luxury of populating a primitive soulless cosmos. These stars' long-lost chemical remnants have now been discovered by a team of astrophysicists. Population 3 stars are the oldest known stars, with their formation thought to have begun when the universe was 100 million years old. The supernovae produced by the collapse of these enormous celestial bodies spread their heavy components over the cosmos. The analysis of a distant quasar revealed the secret code. And because to information posted on the website of Noir Lab, the National Research Laboratory for Optical Infrared Astronomy of the United States National Science Foundation, we know exactly who decoded it. Since several chemical elements with a little-known composition have been located surrounding the quasar, researchers at the Gemini Observatory believe they have excess material identified of the explosion. Their working idea is that the material originates from the previously stated, but never witnessed explosion in stars, with a mass between 150 and 200 times that of the Sun. Light from distant astronomical objects was spectrically separated using the NEARS instrument mounted on one of the Gemini telescopes. The next step is the most challenging, since it requires determining which components are present in the things under observation. A main conclusion of the research, authored in part by Yuzuru Yoshi, it was obvious to me that the candidate supernova for this was one belonging to the population 3 stars, in which the star completely explodes without leaving any trace behind. He was delighted and somewhat surprised to discover that a supernova from a star almost 300 times the mass of the Sun could have a magnesium to iron ratio that is consistent with the low value derived from a quasar. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.